So today I will be showing you a few things that I personally set up on my King Kong 90 GT. Now again this is up to you guys if you want to do that but this is what I have done and I will also explain as to why I've done it. So first let's go ahead and get our 90 GT connected up to the computer. Okay, connected up with Betaflight. Go to CLI. First, I want to check my small angle. So you can see it's set to 25. So I'm going to actually set that to 180. And what that'll do, obviously, you want to save, reboot afterwards. What that'll do is that will help us arm our quad upside down. So in case we get stuck in a tree, uh, we have a little bit more room to kind of free ourselves by arming it and maybe uh, trying to punch out of there. All right, so let's go back into the CLI command and then I'll type get low pass. And the one that we're looking for is this option right here that says D low pass type. And we want to set that to PT1. Okay, this is according to, again, Joshua Bardwell equal PT1. All right, so D low pass type set. Save. Okay, so let's go back and check that. As you can see, the low pass type is set to PT1. Um, and again, if you're not really sure what this is, I would suggest you going into Joshua Bardwell's video. And this is the video right here. It's called No More Prop Wash Oscillation. I will put a link in the description. That way, you just know what essentially is going on. So after you turn this on, you want to just fly for about 30 seconds or so, hover around, and just make sure that your motors aren't getting hot. And if they are, you want to probably turn that back on and set that back to bi quad again. So just to do, do the same command I did, just instead of typing PT1, type in bi quad. All right, the next thing I will do is actually not going to be in beta flight. So let me go ahead and close out of that, or I'll disconnect um, the quad from the computer. Next thing I'm going to do is, uh, since I don't have a beeper on the King Kong 90 GT, I'm going to actually use the ESCs um, to beep after one minute of inactivity. So um, what I've done is I've gone to the BL Heli Suite website and I've downloaded their newest version. Um, so let's go ahead and launch the program. So what you want to do is as soon as this launches, I'm going to go ahead and connect your quad to your computer. All right. After it gets recognized, you want to um, either select this uh, E option, the Heli Bootloader, or this very last option. So the two options for clean flight. Um, I'm aware if you're using Beta Flight just as I was, uh, but either option will work. Um, I'm just using one, the yellow one, the E, as you can see, the yellow matches the yellow back here. So click on this one. Um, more than likely, you're probably going to be on COM1. Just click on that and make sure you see an option at the bottom. After you select that, click on connect. You're going to get this option right here where it shows the multiple ESCs. At this point, you need to go ahead and plug in your battery. Like so. It'll turn on and it'll do, you know, the regular sounds. Um, but it'll stop a little early. At that point, you want to click on check. It'll check all the ESCs, it'll load all the software and settings. Now this is what we want. So under beacon delay, we want to go ahead and set that to one minute. So after one minute of inactivity, um, the ESCs will start beeping. The other thing that I will do is I will um, bump up the beacon strength. What that is, is just the beeping, uh, the beeping loudness. Um, don't get it confused with the beep strength, you do want the beacon. So you can see it's the beacon delay, beacon strength. All right, I'm going to set mine to 130. I'm not sure what happens if you set it higher. I just saw this video. This guy set it 130, so that's what I'll do as well. Once you're done, um, you want to go ahead and hit right, soft, right setup. Then it'll give you right OK for all the results. Once that is done, you can uh, go ahead and exit out. And that's it. Your quadcopter will reboot. Go ahead and unplug the battery. Unplug it from your computer. Alright, now go test flight. 
make sure the motors aren't getting warm due to the low pass filter that you, we've changed. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe.